Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. This video will go over the best Eidolons that you can get. These pets will make your character so much stronger. It is very important that you start saving up for an S grade Eidolon today. It will make you stronger. They are incredible and they don't drop in value. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you know when the next video is out, as well as comment below. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them and be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card, April 15th. 2020. Later on in this video, I will also show you my monkey and the best bill for the Monkey King as well as Reverne. The Siren Pet, once thought only as a tank pet, is now used by DPS everywhere in 6v6 Realm War. If you want to excel in Realm War and you want a pet that can actually heal you as you run away and escape death, the Siren Pet will be great for you. The Monkey King is my favorite pet. Its stun is amazing. AoE stun for 3 seconds. Its other two skills also debuffs you, making you do less damage. Next up is the Goblin Pet. The Goblin Pet will actually give you a shield every, you know, you can build him to every 7 seconds pretty easily. However, you can lower the damage shield time to once every 3 seconds, which is insane. That shield will block all damage one time every 3 seconds if you build him correctly. That's why he's 30 to 35 million on my server. They are completely sold out on my server. Not as good in PvP because they can be countered. Areola, super good. What it does is it makes you run faster as well as disables your target. Very good for 6v6 Realm War. Areola will drain the chi out of the enemy as well as turn them into a tree-like zombie for a couple of seconds. Next up is the Weaverne. Weaverne pet is a physical damage pet. It is a little bit cheaper at only 9 million simply because the monkey pet is a better Weaverne pet. The Weaverne pet does have a skill that allows you to do more damage when they have low health. However, most people prefer the monkey's 3 second stun, allowing the monkey to be both very good at PvE and PvP. Next up we have Spitfire. Spitfire is if you want an Eidolon that does extreme high amounts of magic damage and if you're a wizard, a venomancer, or a cleric, a oh, Spitfire might be great for you. The Spitfire excels at PvE AoE damage. It also can stun your target for one second. Not so good, not as good as Areola for PvP, but much better for PvE. The Ninetale Shards is perhaps the best Eidolon that you can get if you want to spend very little amounts of gold. This Eidolon, you can get the shards for about 1.5 mil on my server. So that's just 6 mil for this Eidolon. If you build her, you just need 4 shards. So it's a good option if you don't have much gold. And she is a very cute, very cute Eidolon. All right, so now, so for, let's pretend you did get an Eidolon, an S-grade Eidolon. Then what are you gonna do? You're going to first try to unlock the skills. To unlock the eight skills on an S-grade Eidolon, you will want to buy cheap skills. Cheap skills that match your Eidolon. If you have a physical attack Eidolon, buy physical skills like Bash, physical attack expertise. You can use maybe even amplify damage, just cheap skills that matches it. If you have an S-grade magic pet, you will use skills such as magic, magic burst, condensed magic, magic attack expert cheap skills for magic. If you have a siren, a siren pet, then you will use skills like vitality, support, heal expert, and you can also use some magic, something like magic or advanced magic for yourself. You want to use cheap skills 
at first to open the eight locks because there's a high probability that the new skill that you are trying for the pet to learn will replace one of its old skills. So replacing another cheap skill is a whole lot better than replacing a skill that costs 300k gold. And you're wondering like how do I prevent it from replacing my other skills? Well, you can't do that. You can't really do that unless you have pet locks. You can get up to three pet locks by buying, uh, by buying gold. You can buy gold. Some of the best packs will be like the Riverside card. You can also buy the growth pack. Those, those are extremely good value and that can unlock your pet locks. After you spend $15, you get one pet skill lock. At $30, you get the second pet skill lock. I think the third pet skill lock is up spending $50. Be sure that you have the eight skills that you really, really want before you level any of them up. Or you're going to be like me. And I'm going to show you, you can replace your leveled up skills. If you're not lucky, you're replacing skills that cost 300k you're going to be replacing level 12 skills that actually cost probably 10k silver ingots uh, i mean uh, 30 or 40 50k silver ingots <laughs> also uh, i'm just trying to replace that condensed magic but it doesn't want to leave okay let's talk about possible builds even if you have a weaver like this one you can see that it has drain cheese skills it's called poison strike and also has that skill for amplified damage if you have the elixirs that matches those two skills it can make your weaver sort of like areola and suck chi out of your enemies making a weaver pet that's not pvp oriented into more of a pvp pet the only one skill that's completely wrong on this weaver is speedy skill you don't need speedy skill on a weaver because it only has skills that are affected by your attack speed it doesn't have a cooldown period for its skills so the faster that your weaver or monkey is attacking the more the skills will proc and so similarly on my monkey the first skill that you see right there that's super locked is the haste skill second skill i have is physical attack expertise when maxed out it gives you i think 2250 uh, physical attack i really like enforcing and pounding enforcing and pounding is great skills it causes your monkey to deal incredible when you level these up enforcing and pounding right now at level eight it already increases the damage my monkey uses my, my monkey does by 40% when it has more than 80% HP and less than 20% HP. Another skill that's very good for monkeys and weaverns would be finding weakness that gives your monkey physical crit percent chance. You need physical crit percent chance so that your monkey can just uh, also have burst of damage. If it crits, it can deal even more damage. Stunning combo is incredible because you will be able to stun your enemies after your pet hits the enemy six times. You can leave it at level one and it will still do that. Exploding combo and speedy combo is here because they have very good, very good elixirs, rare elixirs that are matched to it. You will have to level up stunning combo. Um, speedy combo and exploding combo up to level 10 in order to activate those rare elixirs now if you don't have rare elixirs don't worry you can also use common elixirs here's some common elixirs that you can use for example chain reaction chain reaction would be a combo you will have to level up your enforcing and pounding up to level 5 and that will increase uh, the amount of damage that it does. Wind, wind Strike also increases the P attack. Armor Piercer, not useful because strength isn't part. It's not part of my build. However, it activates physical power, the core elixir, and that activates the core elixir and adds vitality. When I level up, my, vitali my vitality will go up as well as the physical attack of the pet. The reason I built my pet this way, even though I don't have any rare elixirs, is in my opinion, rare elixirs will become more common in the future. 
so I'm building it for the future. So you can use two different rare elixir cores. You can use Dispelling Power or Slicer. It will both both of these cores elixirs will work for my build. For example, Dispelling Power will increase your vitality up to 500. Also, it has uh, the Slicer increases your crit rate uh, 10%, lowers your target's uh, P defense and M defense by up to 1100. Also, it adds pugnacity to your pet, which is good. So you can use either one of those core elixirs. Let's look at Late Strike. Late Strike, if you use that, it, it helps your Eidolon ignore block as well as increases the Eidolon's crit rate up to 20%. Sudden Strike is insane. I'm not sure if this is a typo, but I don't think it is. It can increase the crit rate up to 114%. So I'm probably going to go for Sudden Strike first, simply because I'm going to see if it actually gives me 100% crit rate. And right now, whenever my pet crits, it's doing double damage. So my pet already does pretty good damage, but if it can crit every time and do double the damage every time, I would be so very happy. All right, this is War Soul. This is uh, Elixir that matches Stunning Combo. And if you level Stunning Combo up to 10, it's going to increase the P attack of your pet. So that, that's pretty good. Uh, life cycles matches haste and all you got to do is get your haste up to 10 You don't have to get it to 30 haste and stunning combo. They're expensive skills. They really are So you just have to get them up to level 10 I'm, I'm going to try to get them up to level 10 extremely good skills and that's why haste and stunning combo Excellent skills in my build Okay, so let's say you already built your pet and you're looking at my build and saying uh my build looks nothing like your build. Well, we can look at a pet that's completely built. This right here is pretty built. Well, we got physical attack expertise. It adds 2200 attack. Bash adds 1100 attack. So if you have to choose, I would choose physical attack expertise. It's twice as effective as Bash. Bash isn't all that great. Piercing strike. It's not all that great either, but all of these are maxed out almost because these skills are very cheap on my server I mean, they're like 10k So if you compare so if you want to compare a 10k skill to a skill that's 300k and You'd really just you know, you don't think that you can get any rare elixirs if you aren't aiming for rare elixirs go for this go for it. You can go for cheaper skills Dual damage, I don't really like as much. It doesn't add that much to the Eidolon. So that's why I don't have him locked. I do. I am going to lock down. I'm going to lock down physical attack expertise. Locking down uh, the armor piercing. Also going to lock down bash. These other skills, such as Ascent Strength, Enhanced Dexterity, Enhanced Vitality, are good skills to uh, for your character. It makes your character stronger. Those skills cost silver ingots, and you can buy those in the market. So it's actually up to you whether or not you want to change your build. If you don't think that you want to use rare elixirs, then don't change your build. Just use the build that you already have, but use common elixirs that go around with it. For example, I am using Ruthlessness to activate physical power. And when physical power is activated and leveled up, you can get 2300 physical attack on your pet if your pet is statted as strength. So my strength monkey makes the elixir much better. So this makes strength monkey, strength weaverns, in my opinion, a lot better than a dex. You can still go dex if you want your monkey to stun more often. However, you are losing out on a bunch of damage. I also use uh, Divine Power because I do have Piercing Strikes. It can increase my strength up to 148. All right. 
So you can use you can use wind wider. You can use that. And the way we level this up is we use elixir dust, which you get from a lot of events. Also, you get it from Realm War, as well as you can buy it using your silver ingots. So you just buy enough elixir dust. I'm going to buy 12. So for the first level, it only only takes 20 elixir dust. For the next level, it takes even more. It takes uh, like 40 elixir dust. So after you level this up, you will need five Rin Rider Strike elixirs. So in order to get to level two, we're going to go get some more Wind Rider Strike Elixirs. And uh, these can be bought in the market using Silver Ingots. So depending on which Elixir you choose, you either have to buy them using gold coins in the market in the stall, or you can buy them in the market using Silver Ingots. It just depends on which Elixir you use. Wind Rider, once you level up to two, the next level you don't use elixir dust you use the pet skill called bash and that's why you have to go to the stall and you can buy some more bash skills if you want to that's why bash is more expensive now bash used to be a 6k skill but now it's worth more the next elixir i use is divine power and because i have piercing strikes you can't use divine power unless you have at least level 5 piercing strikes. What this does is it increases the amount of damage because of increased Eidolon viciousness, increases the amount of damage that your pet does to opposing enemy players. Good for PvP. It also adds to the amount of strength that your main character has. Level 1 it gives you 5 strength, and level 2, which I'm going to get right now, gives me 26 strength. And you know, I, the more strength I get, the stronger and more physical defense i get so i'm really really happy now let's see we got physical power core elixir that elixir actually needs a different elixir than this drain chi i don't actually have poisonous strikes in this build but so i'm going to remove it drain chi skill is good for pvp so if you want to you can use either amplify damage or Poison strikes on your build if you want your pet to also drain your enemy's chi. So I'm gonna equip Armor Piercer. And once I equip that, it's going to activate my physical power core elixir and give me vitality. So that's what I'm doing. So we're gonna master armor piercer. Armor Piercer doesn't get the skill resonance because I don't have strength on my pet. It still gets physical attack for Eidolon, and the most important part is that it's going to activate the core resonance on my on my physical power core elixir. Now we're going to actually change the skill build on the monkey, but before then, this gives us an opportunity to find out exactly how much damage a level 30 dual damage actually does. The dual damage skill. At level 30, we're going to attack Snot somebody really weak, but it's a cutie, 657k BR, and we are going to attack him, and when the pet attacks, the pet, the Eidolon, the pet monkey, its damage is an orange, and it's, it's actually doing more damage than my tank form. You see two numbers. You see a big number, which is about, you know, 1,700, 2,000. And then you see a small number. The small number is the damage from dual, dual damage, all right? It's the dual damage skill at level 30. So the first number is like 1,549. The second number is about 170 to 186. The 170 to 186 number. So it does about 180 damage. That is the dual damage that is the level 30 dual damage. So it basically increases the damage by about 10%. So the monkey, the monkey does damage ranging from 1500 to 3000. And dual damage with the all strife monkey 
does about 170. So the first skill that I'm going to add is Stunning Combo. Stunning Combo is unique as in you can leave it at level 1 and it will stun the enemy after your pet attacks every 6 times. So once the pet attacks 6 times, the enemy will be stunned for 1 second. What's great about that, especially with a monkey pet, is that if they are stunned for one second, this may catch them off guard, and they might be in range for the monkey's AOE stun that will stun them for another three seconds, so that can keep them completely stunned for four seconds if everything works out just fine. All right, so we're gonna try to get rid of this condensed magic. Condensed magic does nothing. However, it does get rid of dual damage, and after that we do lose some br we do lose some br and the monkey is going to do about 170 less damage we're going to test this we're going to go back into the pinnacle and we can see that there are two numbers now and one of those numbers is going to go away the 170 180 damage that dual damage usually does is not there anymore so my monkey is weaker so one thing you can do See, if I wasn't doing this video, you would actually wait until you have the rare elixirs before you restat the monkey. So you can wait, you can wait on reskilling the monkey until you have rare elixirs. All right, so stunning combo says that it does 100 damage, and that 100 damage is towards PVE targets like monsters. However, if you look right here, the amount of damage it does to a PvP player is 6 damage. See, the small number is no longer 170, but it's just 6 damage. So, Stunning Combo at level 1 doesn't do that much damage, but as you level up, it's going to start doing more damage. Plus, the most valuable part of Stunning Combo is after it attacks 6 times, the enemy will be stunned for 1 second. You see, he's stunned for 1 second. Oh, no, no, that, that probably was uh, his, uh, the monkey's main stun. All right. I don't know. Hey, uh, Call Me Kev has an areola, but I am not turning into a zombie. I, I don't, I haven't turned into a zombie once. So that is, that is completely odd. But yeah, my monkey does do less damage because it has lost level 30 uh, dual damage but now it will stun the enemy once every six attacks so this is why you don't level up your skills before you have your final build because every time I'm trying to replace this condensed magic and I'm teaching a new skill it, it's random unless and I have three skills locked already if you don't have any skill locks it's even worse but right now I have I do have bash, physical attack, and piercing strikes. All those skills are locked. All right, so I finally replaced condensed magic. And uh, so I have new skills. Finding weakness increases physical crit percentage, which uh, matches the ruthlessness common elixir, which you should use until you get some rare elixirs. And that is why we got speedy combo. Haste is actually very important for the monkey, even if the elixir wasn't there. But but haste, speedy combo, explosive combo. I, I still need stunning combo. I still need stunning combo. At first, I wasn't planning on doing stunning combo because it could erase my other skills. But luckily, first shot, I now have the whole set. I can eventually I can eventually have all five elixirs as rare elixirs and uh, so the life cycles is a great elixir that goes with haste war soul goes with stunning combo sudden strike and late strike those go with exploding combo and it is up to you to either use slicer as the core elixir or Dispelling power. So you can use either one of those core elixirs. It's up to you. You just decide. So that would be the build for either a monkey strength pet 
or a Wyvern Strength pet. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have, and I'll see you guys in the next video.